So here we are in scale two with the dial opened up. This is the base of the box. If you'll notice, I added two little flaps that were not in the video. I just wanted to fill in that space when the lid was closed. Second page is just, this is the lid, the decorative panel. This is just the decorative panel for the bottom of the box. And then this is a small box that I have shrunk down. Back on the first page, if you'll select this, you'll see there's one box around the entire thing. I used the group function and made it into one object. If you come over to your props box and click Keep Proportions, you can now resize this and cut it out at any size that you would like. I love this feature. It makes your design so much more versatile. Now, in order to resize the lid to fit, what I would do is I would go to that page. I would select it. I would go up to Edit copy. I would go back to my first page and I would paste it on there. Move it out of my way. Got the wrong one. I do that a lot in this program. Let me just move this back up here. Okay. Now what you need to do is you need to resize this to fit. And it needs to fit between these two right here. You need to click the Keep Proportions on that box too. Okay, and now you can just size it in so it's the same width. You could actually click and check your number and make sure, but this will work. Okay, so that's the right width. That should work. All right, so now I'm going to go back up. I'm going to click Copy again. Go back to my lid page because I want the new size. Click Paste. Now this is the one that will fit that little bit of smaller box. So you could do this one if you didn't want it anymore. But you can do that with any of these box files. If you click the Keep Proportions box and then just resize them to fit. Now I don't want to save those changes. So when I go to close it out, or say I want a new project, say save changes before closing, say no, and then keep your original file. Hope that helps.